Viewer discretion is advised. If you just know you're that girl, yeah. you just have no choice but to be that girl. And I feel like I'm that girl. What if you don't wake up feeling like that girl? How do you be that girl? You need to go back to sleep and wake back up again so you can feel like that girl. There you have it, child. That's why I feel like I'm the T. I feel like I'm the T because I work at being the T. <laughs> like, no shade. I'm not the T just because a bunch of bitches like me and live for me because we all homegirls. I'm the T because I'm the motherfucking T. And that's just sad. <laughs> like, like, I, I mean, that's just what it is. People legit in the world love to live for food. Love, 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 love to live for food. You love to live for your bald head homegirl that do bald head home shit. Like, like it's like it's clear that I'm I'm working at being the sea soldier. Let me be the sea. <laughs> like give me that. Give me my flowers. Patience. Patience is the ability to accept trouble, suffering, delay, without getting angry or upset. I feel like if you can master patience, you can master anything. To sit and plan out your goals and dreams, strategize. Understand how the universe works, how things manifest. The time it takes is part of your own learning process. It's hard to realize this when things aren't coming fast enough. Whether it's a check, a job, a loan, a dream, a goal, it all takes patience. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't had a chance to do so by now, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And to go a step further, please tap the notification bell. That way you'll be updated each and every time I'm uploading something new. Girl, also make sure you're following me on Instagram at ybent.tv as well as my business page at Tika Naturals. And if you would like to bless the platform in a financial way, please feel free to do so. I will leave all of those links in the description box for easy access. Yeah. All right, so I have a few things that I want to talk about. Um, I'm going to be running a couple of errands. So I may only, I know for sure we're going to talk about two things. Okay, we're going to go in depth on two things. Um, so the first thing I want to get into is called toxic popularity. And about a few months ago, when I really started thinking about like taking YouTube a little bit more seriously and different ways that I could be more consistent and, you know, providing content for the girls, okay, is I started taking notes of different topics that I wanted to talk about. And toxic popularity was one of them. Mind you, this was months ago. So I'm at home and I'm thinking to myself, you know, what could I talk about today? So I went down the list and I saw toxic popularity. And then I looked on Twitter real quickly. And then I saw a video of Krishan Rock's father pressing Blueface about his violent behaviors towards his daughter. Um, girl, please like <laughs> bitch your daughter is the uh, assailing girl she is the aggressor in all of these situations i'm quite sure as we have been purviewed to front row bitch at all of her in his shenanigans all right um but i was like damn like it's so crazy so i was like you know it must be meant to be okay because i was like mm, how would i even and then i thought about it and i was like yes there is this let's get into it real quick there is this hold on there is this popularity as it pertains to toxicity when you really think about it right and we all look at Krishan rock and blueface i'm using them as my example for this video you would think instead of trying to get them to do a show a reality show that you would actually be trying to get these young black people some help okay first of all blue face blink twice if you are in danger or if you're being held against your will blink bitch because we can tell girl that you are being held hostage girl your spirit your soul your body girl your mind girl <laughs> you are being held against your will by a toothpick of a woman but this toothpick is a fucking explosive bomb over baghdad bitch um and she's obviously very very crazy um, but again, you ask and you shall receive. Blueface is a toxic magnet. He's a toxic bitch himself. Okay. So what better way <laughs> to strike fear is to get a very masculine, feminine looking, crazy person as your soulmate, child, your better half. What do you expect when you host an entire show? 
these poor girls sleeping in thin prison bunk beds fighting for the love of a blue face. And like I said before, too, I'm just really offended that, again, instead of being approached by a psychiatrist or a therapist or even doing some kind of like maybe girl, get a cute um, therapist girl and do a show. We need to I think it would be hilarious to even have a real conversation with Krishan Rock. And I have to say this, too. As much as we can laugh at the disgusting nature of Christian Rock, because she's a disgusting human being, her actions, just everything, her mannerisms, she's just a very nasty, nasty, nasty bitch. Um, there's something there. You know me, I'm good for peeling back the layers, girl, using my third eye, girl, to see through the bullshit of it all, the fakery, the fuckery, and the fraudulence. And Krishan, girl, you got some deep-rooted shit going on within you, girl. And this is what I hate, is that we're going to sit here and uplift these people for their antics, their craziness, and their delusions, girl. We're going to feed into their delusions of already grandeur, girl. Instead of asking, girl, what's the problem? What's wrong with y'all? What happened to you to make you so fucking vile, bitch? Obviously, you can't do nothing without having a drink which is just extremely sad and pathetic girl. You know, you can't get your, you can't get through your day or through any situation without being a drunken whore. And that is just very very sad. Very sad you're a sad woman. Very sad woman. But I have to say what influenced this sad woman to be a sad ass woman, right? I want to know that. Obviously, Everything is rooted in childhood trauma, correct? Well, I truly believe in this situation that that girl has been through some things. She has witnessed some real, like, uh, toxic, damaging ass um, relationship tease by maybe her parents, maybe someone real close to her she bared witness to just accept all of the toxicity. And the same thing for Blueface. Like, obviously, like, what makes you attracted? What makes you so toxic yourself? It's obviously things that you guys have seen and you've been through. You've absorbed those experiences and now you're making them your own. And it doesn't help when we are living in a world that is so um, heavily influenced by social media. We become what the most popular thing is. And that's the, that's the crazy part for me. Whatever happened to individuality and just doing you, you can tell Blueface is tired. Well, you must not be tired enough until you end up on an episode of Snapped. We're all wearing a t-shirt, RIP. And you know what's crazy too is like all of this shit bleeds off into other conversations. This is why we talk about young girls who sit out here and they love. Look at TikTok. Your love is toxic. Like, and they have videos of these men getting in ski masks and threatening. Oh, I'm, and they think it's funny on TikTok, right? Oh, I'm going to, if my girl go out with her homegirls or I'm going to be waiting on her like this. Like, you love a man that is toxic to the point where it's dangerous. You connected a man who is obsessed with you in the most hateful and nasty, nastiest of ways to love. What is wrong with y'all? Because he's aggressive in nature. You find that a turn on. Because he wants to possess you, mind, body, and spirit, bitch. You find that sexy. Until you find out he's doing it to every other girl. Hello, God. And even then, some of you girls are so broken, you stand by that level of toxicity. No matter what he's done. And then you wonder why you're living a life of perpetual brokenness. And I don't blame you. Look at some of y'all mothers, girl. Let's tell the truth. Look at some of y'all mothers, girl. They weren't good examples in their mothers before them. I 
I see a lot of videos on TikTok too about breaking generational curses. Whatever happened with that? Take a hard look at yourself, bitch, and really think to and really think. And these young boys, you love a toxic chick, but you tell your homeboys oh, that chick crazy, but I love her. That's not healthy, bitch. And some of y'all be out here trauma bonding and y'all y'all ain't meant to be together on a romantic level at all. You are just trauma bonding. For those that don't know what that is, trauma bonding is where you and someone else get together and forge a deep rooted connection based on all the fuck shit that y'all done been through in y'all childhood, y'all life experiences. You basically are sharing in your same experiences. But the relationship is, is rooted in negativity. It's toxic. It's not healthy. You're not really meant for each other. You just have a bunch of dark shit in common. Because you know, uh, you already know, a sane, balanced person ain't finna put up with your bullshit. Let's tell the truth. Can we tell the truth? <clears throat> People that have already gotten over their bullshit and now they're happy in their life, they don't want you. So misery obviously loves company. So girl, we gonna trauma bond together in our negativity. Hello, God. Cute ass police officer. Y'all think, oh, I done found my soulmate, y'all. No, that's not your soulmate, girl. That's just someone who you relate heavily to of all the dark shit. But I guarantee you, once you get happy and that person don't get happy, y'all ain't gonna be meant for each other no more. You ain't gonna have that same feeling anymore, bitch. Hello. Actually, let me park right here, because, girl, y'all got too much going on for me. Mm-hmm. You don't love me. You love your need of me. Isn't that what they be talking about? Hello. Girl, please. I'll be back, y'all. I just want to say this, and then I'm done with the conversation, because it's, I don't think we're in a position to win. When we are sitting in this bitch praising people like Christian Rock and we're putting them on these pedestals, girl, and you know, we only have ourselves to blame. We can blame media all day long, but girl, it's the consumer. There's, there's, I don't, again, we have to get out of this need for toxicity and that is only when toxicity will end. Okay, period. Um, I wanted to talk about Glorilla real quick. Bitch, I know you are just starting out on your journey of fame and fortune, girl, okay? But to think that it is okay to pay a personal assistant $5.50 a week and to make that your excuse of paying them so little to do so much because we've all seen the shows we've all seen what a personal assistant really does they are the lifeblood of the artist or the celebrity that they're working with without the assistant girl the celebrity's life is in shambles so we know what goes into we've seen it we also have made comments in the past about girl look how sweetie was treated by Kim Zolciak from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Look how we wanted to jump through the TV and smack the shit in the wig off of that white bitch Kim for how she would treat Sweetie. Okay? But I guarantee you, Sweetie was making way more than $5.50 a week. Hello, God. Girl. But the disrespect is, you know what this person is going to have to do. And I wonder if this is coming out of your pocket. Because if it is, and it sounds like it is, girl, okay? Um, the label needs to be furnishing you an assistant. The, the check needs to be cut by them. Because I don't see anybody in their right mind um, applying for that job. And just because you think you're going to pay for someone's travel and 
You act like they going on a vacation, bitch. They're there to work. They're there to slave for you, girl. So no. I don't see where um, that meets up. I don't see where that aligns. Um, especially in today's time here, girl, 550 a week. The girls can do DoorDash and make more money from that. And you let Lauren, you, if we lean on the understanding of Lauren Hill, girl, you can make $8,000 a week <laughs> doing DoorDash, girl, okay. And then open a restaurant selling $100 wings, girl. So no, I don't agree with that. And you're mad at the backlash and trying to come up with all these excuses on why the price is the price, girl, no. If that's the case, then you can't afford an assistant. The assistant gets no sleep. They have no set schedule. Girl, please don't tell me this is traffic building up because I do not have the time or the energy to deal with it. The label knows that an assistant is essential Hello God to their artists. So the fact that that's not even in the business expense, because again, I highly doubt the label will be trying to lowball like that. This has to be coming out of Glorilla's coin, girl, her percentage. And I know that you're just starting off, girl. I get it. Then maybe you need to hire an intern. Maybe you need to label it an intern position. Maybe some young, hungry bitch will be willing because you are in the space that a lot of the young folks want to be in. Maybe they will be so starstruck that they will be willing to, you know, <clears throat> accept that low ass pay. But girl, please, a regular person is not going to be here for none of that, especially in today's times. That's not even enough for groceries. Have we even talked about taxes, bitch? No, we haven't. Girl, this traffic is done right now I don't see where I'm gonna get to any of this bitch girl I just should just get off I think I'm just gonna get off there's no point I'm not sitting through that that's too much can I go please thank you yeah y'all got me fucked up I'm not sitting through that I see that's way the fuck beyond girl no girl to infinity and beyond my ass girl this is not the toy story bitch and I don't play about traffic. No, God. I'm not, we're not even going to play those reindeer games today, bitch. No, not today. I'll take the back streets. It might take me a little bit longer. But, bitch, no. I'm not, I'm not going to be bothered with traffic. Um, but, yeah, girl, that's all I really wanted to say, girl. How dare you? Shame on you. Uh, maybe you're not ready right now. Um... I, I can imagine, you know, you, there's a lot of hype behind you right now. You're very busy, which means your assistant's going to be even more busy, okay? Um, if you can barely control your own life, what makes you think an assistant coming in is going to be able to, girl, no. At least have a healthy sign-on bonus, you know? A healthy sign-on bonus, girl. And it's the holiday season, girl. So we need Christmas bonuses and everything, girl. Ch child, adjust for inflation. How about that? All right, y'all, that's all I have time for today. Be blessed and never stressed. Remember that health is wealth, and y'all take care. All right, bye.